Scorpio, beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia. Welcome, welcome back. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now, in this reading, we will be pulling some messages that will help uncover any abundance blocks you might be experiencing at this time, money or love related. If there is a certain amount of money you would like to manifest into your beautiful life or that special somebody, go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe. If you're interested in receiving a personal reading with myself and spirit, all of the details will be down in the description box below, along with my husband. If you haven't yet, check him out. He's over at 7D Tarot. And be sure to stick around until the end of this reading. We will be pulling a final message from the universe. Okay, in your recent past here, we see that you were really feeling your power in regards to a particular new outcome. So something new entered your life and you were really feeling yourself with this. This is something that really allowed you to receive um, uh, just an energetic feeling of empowerment with that sovereignty card, right? Just really feeling yourself, really feeling your own, really stepping into your true power. This is wonderful. This is a clue. This is, uh, uh, you know, this is your, whenever you feel this kind of a way, it's a clue, it's a puzzle piece that this energy energy you're feeling, this energetic state you're in, that is how you want to always remember yourself because how we attract in our the life we want is always based upon how we feel. So the more you feel connected to this feeling of empowerment, of, of, of feeling feeling good in your in your life, right? That's that's what you want to gauge. Now remember everything you feel is always for you to collect data. So when you feel like this, this power of, of these new beginnings coming in and you're just really feeling like you're, you know, you're on purpose, you're on path, you're connected to your soul, you're connected, you're just feeling better than how you've been feeling, right? You always want to take this as experience because you're going to learn this experience, you're going to feel this energy, right? And then you're going to go through other experiences where you're going to feel different energies. And the name of the game for us empaths is to really decipher what feels the best for us. So because you may have come from a place that didn't feel as empowering, this place of empowerment probably feels extra good from this new adventure, right? And so, you know, whenever, this is always the start of a new journey. Whenever we feel really empowered with a new journey, it's always the clue that like, ah, there's, there's truth in that. This is, there's something here for me. This is, this is something I want to continue. Basically, I feel good. I want to continue. And this, this, this feeling now has led you to this current time and space where perhaps maybe even you were almost feeling almost, almost you could have even ridden with this feeling of empowerment. Sometimes this happens when we're not used to have, when we're not used to feeling our power, when we're not used to feeling our truth, uh, we can almost take this and this gets pumped up and then we almost feel limited because when we feel like this, then we don't want to lose it. So we don't want to, you know, you know, lose our sense. Or even sometimes we feel really powerful in this new uh, energy that we're in of creating this, this new career, whatever it is, that sometimes what happens then is then, um, you know, we, we fixate on making it better or growing it or making more money. And again, then we kind of get burnt out or we may act in ways that are um, not really us, you know, our ego kind of comes up. Sometimes when we feel such power, when we haven't been used to feeling it, again, it's almost like we, we've, our, our egos like hit a certain goal that like our egos has, has, has hit. And then, and, and, and then that, that creates this reaction out of us to behave in a way that just really isn't our own, you know? So we, we can become more, you know, um, you know, just, just not really ourselves, you know? And so you're now in this time and space where there's a uh, feeling like there's uh, less opportunity almost with this Ace of Wands in reverse and this Knight of Cups. You're not feeling as inspired or um, impressed by yourself. You're not feeling as eager and, and as quite as the same power as there once was. There's a little bit more compassion that's being, that's being felt. Or perhaps this is the lesson now of, of understanding compassion right? This is what you're, this is the time and space you're in right now is that, you know, we feel all powerful and, and sometimes even almost high and mighty, right? When we are taking on new, um, careers and we're exper experiencing new in our life. And maybe we're, we're also witnessing that, um, at the same time, you know, when we experience this power and we experience new, we also really want things. And then we experience that we're, we don't have those things. And now you're at a time where you're experiencing compassion. And this compassion is compassion for yourself. More importantly, compassion for those around you, right? So just understanding that 
the journey of life is not fun unless you are sharing the energy, the same energy you feel with those around you. So you're, the, and we're talking your immediately, pe your immediate people. So the people that you share your home life with, it, it's, it's, it's not as fun to do this solo, right? It's, it's only good for that certain amount of time to realize, wow, you know, this feels really, really good. But then you also want everyone else to feel really, really good. And sometimes, you know, that can be expressed. We can try to force that. We could try to help and, 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 and guide, but it doesn't really, it doesn't really work that way. So at the end of the day, you're going through this moment of compassion here where you're realizing, you know, maybe those around you aren't feeling the same way and you want to help them. Or, you know, with yourself, maybe you, you know, had all this energy and now it's kind of coming back down and, 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 and you're just kind of feeling back to like, you know, your, your more, you know, grounded, uh, you know, nurturing self. And every, all we want to offer you is that everything in this game of life is an experience for you to just, just collect, just collect the data. Because at the end of the day, the reasons why you're going through all these um, ups and downs, maybe immense power to maybe more of a subdued kind of a compassionate kind of a nurturing energy, right? So your your full power back to nurture, right? This is very important. The reason being Scorpio is because this is teaching you balance. So I myself went through the same journey where when you know when I when we were um, uh, first learning a new skill, you know my my my. Uh, Personal power went up because I haven't felt that I haven't didn't learn a new skill that made me feel that evolved or expanded in so long that, you know, you know, you feel all this power, you feel this excitement, you feel the new, you feel the growth, you feel you see the future. And then that can only last so long because what comes up must come down. It's We cannot maintain that frequency, right? But we can pivot through those different frequencies. The name of the game is to recognize them and, and understand them so that when they show up for you again, it's the clue, oh, this is it. I'm on the right, I'm on the right path, right? So everything in this game of life is just about collecting data for yourself to be able to use for later times and to be able to give yourself clarity. And so you're in the process of Reach, uh, kind of learning that balance and um, and just learning what energetically works for you and when perhaps maybe you uh, do things to help others, but that takes from your personal power, you see. And so um, that's what we're kind of seeing here is that you're learning the balance of when you're doing things for you, how empowered you feel, but when you immediately try to include others that aren't in that same energy, how and, and you feel that compassion, maybe how that disengages your empowerment, you see, and how your true power comes from always approving your own needs. So that six of wands in reverse represents meeting the approval of others, right? Release... Uh, neglecting your path to try to help others on their journey as well. The only approval you ever need is your own. So you don't need someone to be, you just need to keep living the energy the way that you want to live your energy, basically, right? You always want to maintain that because that's going to be what it is to lay that solid foundation and have, really have that, um, you want to always build your life off of the energy that you want to feel. So when you feel satisfied and empowered and joyful and expansive, you're going to attract in opportunities, outcomes, and situations that mirror that. But if at any time you're feeling that empowerment and, and then you look around and the and it doesn't feel like that around you, you know, it's going to be hard to maintain it, right? And then that's when you're going to, you know, lower that, that energy, that energy is going to lower and you're not going to feel like as many opportunities are around you. And that's why you have to be strong in your knowing and you have to understand that, um, you know, yes, there's a balance to things where we go up and we, we must come down, but you don't want to lose yourself in that down, right? You don't want to lose yourself in that down. You always want to, you know, have a, a, an awareness of what you're doing, right? Yes, I feel empowered when I take action and I set these goals and I feel less empowered when I take action and when I'm in this energy, but that's okay. I'm intentionally doing that. I know that my power comes back the minute that I get back on track and start working towards my goals again, right? And that's all it's about is just gauging the energy and really just being in your own awareness, being in your own, uh, you know, being, being, you know, it's, it's not being in someone else's energy, right? You always want to be in your own energy and making choices deliberately. That way you always have the control. So your universe message is for today. You glow and we beam. Thanks. Universe says, in case anyone should ask, your heart isn't so large because of your wings. It's your wings that are so large because of your heart. Sometimes loving so much can be pretty heavy. Thanks for all you've shared. The universe. 
P.S. It's just another one of those nutty body algorithm things. So sometimes, again, we're so, we have, as empaths, we're so compassionate, we're so nurturing that it, it almost takes from us, right? It almost, it almost takes the, the winds out of our sail, if you will, right? And so we just want you to have that balance of knowing when to be in your power, knowing when to nurture and, and feel compassionate, um, but not to get lost in the nurture and the compassion, especially if that's what you're used to practicing, right? If you're most of your life, you're used to practicing pleasing and giving to others and not giving back to yourself, then giving back to yourself will be the, you want to, oh, you want to know that that will be the new thing. That will be the new energy. So focusing on that will be the more difficult thing to jump back into. Um, but as long as you have that in your awareness, right? You got to have the balance of both the, the empowerment as well as the compassion and having both of those will be what allows you to really know yourself, help others the way you want to, and really just show up in this world uh, the way that you intended. We love you so much. We hope you enjoyed your reading. We hope there were messages in here for you. And if there was like, and subscribe, we truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.